Quincy uh, Willis. So to speak. Yes. <laughs> Imagine they're at TV every morning. Yes, can you feel the wind from the Acropolis, Mrs. <laughs> and many of them, yes. <laughs> Barry, Barry uh, speaking of the wind from the Acropolis, um, yes. Barry Cryer. Um, <laughs> in, <laughs> inspecting his drills, the do-it-yourself enthusiast turned to his girlfriend and said... Six. You say six, and that's Mike Reed. I don't like the shape of your R's. <laughs> <laughs> and not many people do, Barry. Uh, but after the battle, the brave soldier said to the captain... Number eight. A tough battle. And after the battle, the soldier said, I would like this done. Yes. <laughs> As a gay soldier. Right. Uh, uh, sorry, a brave soldier. I beg your pardon. Oh, yes. yes, go ahead. Captain. <laughs> Will you rub my leg with French polish? <laughs> You'll be pleased to hear now we've asked all the questions. Oh. You may now confer with each other. And it's the open air concert. And Demis Roussos turns to Anonymous Corey and says, Number three. And you say three, and Demis Roussos at the concert said, Wincy. Can you feel the wind from the Acropolis? That's absolutely right. Well done. 140 to 80. We, we need uh, one more correct answer, and you're the man to do it, Barry, to make Anne this week's champion. Oh. Long John Silver looked at the native girl and said... <laughs> Has it been out yet? Now, that's not my answer. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> We haven't had this yet, have we? Is that your answer? No. Uh, uh, Long John Silver to a native girl. Two. In the hours of Waikiki and says Norman Vaughan. My bits have gone quite rusty. Oh, what a shame. Poor old Long John Silver's bits have gone rusty. Uh, Lindsay, the calligraphy teacher, to his charming student. I think it is Mr. Reed, uh, number six. Yes, a French calligraphy teacher, apparently. Oh. Says. Oh. <laughs> I bet he can't do the rest. <laughs> Why do you think he's stalling? <laughs> I can't read them. <laughs> I don't like the shape of your R's, correct? Bye bye. Well done, Lindsay, because uh, calligraphy is the art of handwriting. Well done, Lindsay. Uh, 100 to 140. You catch up here nearly pat, inspecting the drills. The do it yourself enthusiast to his girlfriend. Inspecting his drills. Lindsay, do Number it yourself. Two. You say Norman Vaughan, tell me. Yes, my bits have gone quite rusty. They've gone rusty. Well done. Makes it a very close contest. Uh, we still have the battle and the brave soldier to the captain, Lindsay. Is it only me or we confer? You may confer if you we desire. May confer. We suddenly turn into Polly Frongley. He was the, I know what you said. Yes, I can't remember what number five said. I don't think she said anything yet. <laughs> no, I think hard, poor old Tess has got a gold medal in staying we're quiet. I know, I must speak. Yeah, yeah, speak you can... Stand up and see your lane. Are you, are you going to choose Tessa? Why not? Oh, why not indeed? It's about time we saw her lovely smile. Tessa, after the battle, the brave soldier said to the captain. Is there any chance of a medal? There you go. That's the one. Well. That's it. 140. 140. Who's going to win it? I only have one more question, and it's Long John Silver to the native girl, Pat. Number eight. You say eight. Tell him, Roger. Will you rub my leg with French polish? Well done. Look at that. A big lead early for Anne. And got beaten in the final furlong by Pat by Lindsay. What a good game that was, wasn't it, Anne? You enjoy it? Brilliant. Have a good laugh. Brilliant. Had a good Brilliant. laugh. We've got a nice prize for you. We've got a radio cassette recorder for you to take home to good old Blackpool. Yes? Uh, not only does that, uh, Anne get a nice cassette recorder. <laughs> Why are you laughing now? Where were you when I needed you? Uh, she gets... What else? <laughs> Look at that. An LB doll. Isn't that lovely? Now, you can take that home, you see. You can take that home. To, pardon my love? Like. Oh, you can't have one of these. I oh, know these are for the really lucky people. These are for the. <laughs> nice for you, Anne. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done. There we go. And Pat, uh, you don't get an LB, but you get the chance to play as this week's punchline champion. Come on, Pat. <laughs> Let's see if we can win you something nice to go back to Northern Ireland with. Uh, OK, let's, uh, let's do it quickly. You know the rules. Eight yeah. punchlines, no red herrings, uh, as many right as you can. Seven out of eight for the champion prize. 
Punchlines, please. Lincolnshire. Yorkshire. Gwyneth. Cumbria. Lancashire. Cheshire. Cornwall. <laughs> Kent. There we go. Counties. Uh, of the eight counties you've just heard, which one is in Wales? Uh, number one. You say number one, Anthea Redford. Yes, Gwyneth. Gwyneth is right. Well done. <laughs> if you swim the channel to France, Pat, you set off from which county? That really is a toughie, isn't it? Would you like to come back to that? Yeah, yeah. Because I've got the answer and I still don't know. <laughs> um, OK, the Lake District is in which English county? Uh, number... Five. You say the Lake District is in... Tessa? Lancashire. Oh, no. Fairly close, as it happens. Uh, in which county did the poacher in a well-known song come from? Five. You say five, Tessa? Lancashire. No, no, no. Close. It sounds very similar, the real answer. Uh, name the county famous for pasties and the floral dance. Number floral dance. Remember, Terry Wogan almost had a hit with it. Um, we dance. Number six. You say number six, and that's Mike Reed. Yorkshire. <laughs> floral dance in Yorkshire. Don't worry, Pat. Don't worry. <laughs> it can get worse. <laughs> OK, think about this. Uh, which county was divided into ridings? Number six. You say six, Mike? Yorkshire. That's the one. Well done, you see. <laughs> Two right. Uh, think about this one. Which county is famous for its hot pot? Number five. You say five, Tessa? Lancashire. Yeah, Lancashire hot pot. Uh, which county is well known for grinning cats? You, Number two. You say two, Norman? Yes, Cheshire. Cheshire, well done. <laughs> we'll go back to the one uh, which is a very tough one, I think. Maybe one of the hardest questions we ever had on punchlines. Uh, if you swim the channel to France, you set off from which county? Number eight. You say eight, Rog? Kent. Kent is right. Well done. Excellent. Well, you see, you had a bit of a sticky start, but you came through. You did very well. Five out of eight isn't bad at all. We've got a nice camera and all the accessories for you to take back to an island with you. OK? Oh, good. good lad. Thanks for being with us, Pat. Been a good competitor. There we are. And, of course, thank you to the lovely Anne. Special thanks to Barry Cryer and to Lindsay DePaul. And, as usual, all my great Punchline pals. Thanks for laughing here on Punchlines. Good night. <laughs>